Ok guys, today I'm here with Diego Gamoral, I just made a seminar at his school here in San Antonio and uh, he was my training partner since I was like white belt to black belt. He is from my hometown, he got his black belt from the same teacher as I, Ricardo Marx. And uh, we spent a lot of time tra training together. And uh, I'm gonna, he was like a second place in the World's Masters and as with Gui, he won the World's No Gui once or twice. He won the World's No Gi also in the Masters Division 2, so really high level. And he have been competing for a long time. He, he did very well in the adult division as well. Now he's in the Masters <laughs> Division. And uh, uh, when I used to train for him in my hometown, I got pretty good defending one thing for on the over-under because he was super good with one counter-attack for the over-under. And I'm pretty sure if you were the one who followed the over-under, this has happened with you. So he's gonna show here, here what he does. And he's probably one of the best guys I ever saw on this position. So let's get it from him. Let's go. Okay, guys, let's go and start over here. So once he got a kid right here real tight, like it's really uncomfortable for me to try to fight back because he got all his juice already. So what I'm trying to do is just defend this hand already for him not let him grab my neck to control way if I want to escape. So once I grab here, I'm gonna push and hide his hand under like everything I could. So the second hand is gonna block his belt. So I got my both grips right here. So what I'm trying to do like, I'm gonna give up the position, let him pass. Once he pass, I'm gonna use his strength to roll all the way over. And get on top. One more time. So once again, so I cannot fight him back the way like he's like really good in this position, real tight. So again, I get his sleeve and I'm gonna push to hide all the way deep as I can. Once I get here, I get the belt. So now I'm gonna give up the position to let him pass. Once he pass, look, my knee gonna help me to grow all the way on that direction over my shoulder. So I'm here, bring it up. On top. Guys, uh, when I used to train for him, I got swept on this way like hundreds of times until I figured like how to defend it. So this was a huge help for me because uh, nowadays when someone tries that against me, I feel like very comfortable. I don't even worry too much just because I have been in this situation for so many times and I have failed, I have got swept so many times that now I know how to defend it and how to stop it. And I'm gonna show it in one next video. But uh, so let's do one more, let's see one more time here how he does, last one. And uh, guys, one thing that I think he does really well, different than most of the people, is that when he controls my sleeve here, he pulls this really deep. Many times I see people doing that, but he, they just control my sleeve and they can climb with my hands and bother it, and uh, bother his position. But when he does it, he goes like really deep. And now he makes another grip very deep on my belt as well. So. so. Once again, I get here, hiding his hand. I have my hand here already. From here, like my knee gonna help me, and then gonna roll all over. I use his strength against him. All the way. And guys, you look how, how bad was this. I was passing his guard, and then that one bore with him on my side control. So that's a very good position, and I think you, you, you learn how to do it, or at least you know that that can happen, and you try to avoid that. Oh, oh.